Hello guys, my name is Tom and welcome on my channel. So this is the first video I am uploading to this channel. If you enjoy it, then feel free to leave a like, share, comment or subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out a lot. And now let's get into the video. So what I am going to show you today is how to create a Monster Cat visualization uh, slash audio spectrum like this. So this is the original Monster Cat one and we are going to create this right now. So uh, yeah, just make a new composition and name it whatever you want to name it. I'm just gonna call it Monster Cat. And yeah, you can change the length however long you need it for the song. It depends on your song. And now what the hell? Okay. Now you can just go ahead and make a new uh, background layer and make sure to have it white because I had the problem just having it turn on black and yeah, it didn't work. So then you go for CC Starburst and you're gonna drag and drop this or double click it and you will have it right here. So the perfect settings for this template are these ones. Um, the scatter set it to 110, the speed just set it to uh, 0.2, it should not, god damn it, 0.2, so that should be enough for now, grid spacing to 2, uh, the size you can, I'm pretty sure you should turn the size to 74, and that should be it. Now you should enlarge it like that. Yeah, if you don't know it, uh, when you hold down the shift key and you are going to scale it, it's just going to scale with the right proportions. And it's already the same thing when you are actually, um, when you're actually trying to move it. It's just perfect to do it with the shift key. Okay, so this is all we need in the first step. The second thing we are going to need to do is, um, we're actually going to need a CC band. Banded or band, I think it's banded, yep. It is, <clears throat> and here the perfect settings are quite a bit different. Uh, I have them here, it's just minus 13. And the start point is 2400, it's just gonna copy and paste it right here. And the, god damn it, the ending point is 150, it's right here. And 960, ah, oh god, just, ah, no. Okay, so the ending point is set to 4750 by 700, I guess. And that should be it, so if you, have a look at it right now. It should be just the way it is. And if you play it, it's just moving from left to right. That's actually the effect we want to have. You can move it a little down so that it comes straight from the left. You can even enlarge it if it doesn't look the way you like it. You can do qu quite everything. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, what you can do later on if you decide it, uh, whether you want to render it full quality or half quality, it all depends on you, uh, your computer. You can also turn the motion blur on. I wouldn't say that for the actual background layers. It, yeah, it, it is okay. You could do it, but it really isn't necessary. So I'm um, just gonna finish off by uh, a mask, which you can round with the Q key. God damn it, it's just, nah, nah, just, I don't need a counter. God, After Effects, are you still with me? So make sure to select layer and do something like that. And I go to masks. And uh, the smooth mask path, I took something about 200, I guess. And uh, if you would now have a look at this, then you see the stars coming out and just disappearing. Nothing too special. 
actually I am not really proud of the whole thing right here but actually okay it's it's actually it's not too great but it's enough for the moment yeah it's it's really enough okay so um, we're done with the stars but not really because we will definitely do something with the stars later on to make it even more synced to the music uh, but first of all we are going to create the fog which is pretty much the easiest thing just create a new white solid and uh, I think you should lay it behind the stars because it just looks better but uh, that all depends on yourself now grab this pen tool and god damn it select <coughs> excuse me select layer and just cut out some random shapes doesn't have to look good but it has to cover quite a lot of the screen yeah that's actually what you are going to use uh, <clears throat> you will also need a fractal, what is it, I don't know, it's fractales rauschen. Um, I'm gonna look it up and just put it on the screen right here, what it's called in English. And yeah, just leave everything like that. Just don't do anything. Um, actually, that is kind of okay. Now go once again to the mask and select all masks by holding down the shift key. Go into the first mask and do something like turn the... What did I do? Yeah. God. Just, ah. Just do what I want. Okay, so once again, I fucked up right here. Select all the masks, hold down the shift key and just fade them. Just something like that. That's pretty much enough. So um, these all are going to be like uh, for adding and you should also turn the mode to add. Just gives it a little nice finish. And yes, you can actually go for T, I think. Yeah, that's for opacity and turn the opacity down a little bit. That is pretty much what you are going to do. So now go back to the fractal thing, click the stopwatch right in the beginning of your video and keyframe it through, uh, not go to evolution. God damn it. Evolution. So right in the first frame and the last frame and just turn it on round and round and round and round. So actually that the fog is moving. You will see this in a second. So if you pre-render it, you are going, not really going to see that much, but yeah. Actually, the fog is moving. If you have a look at this, the fog is moving. And that's what we want to create, though. Yeah, that's actually the background thing. <laughs> so, um, now to the actual thing. You just have to create a new layer as well. I know you're... You're just in love creating layers, I know it. Now you actually need the audio thing, which you can find below uh, animations, I guess. Animation? God, what is that? Um, animation, no, effects, go to generate, and there is the audio spectrum. That's pretty much it. Now go to uh, mask. God, what is that? Just drag it. Nah, God, what is that? Nope. No, that. Well. Yes, that, that is pretty great. That is really, really great.
<laughs> uh, yeah, just gonna save that for a second so that we can work on it. And yeah, I'll be right back if I uh, find out how the effect is called that I need. So see you in two seconds. Yes, so uh, I'm back and I actually found out how the effect is called and I'm just going to finish it right here. So yeah, that's actually what you need. So we have the audio spectrum right here and the effect is called Come on, just don't fuck around. There you go. So uh, that's pretty easy so that you can just change the color right here. So of course we will need the song we actually want to have in the video. And I think I'm just gonna drag and drop it. So here we go. Just paste the song. And yeah. So actually we don't need that much space. And this little thing here, I'm just gonna have a look at settings. The settings are uh, yeah, quite okay. I think you should start something around. You should stop something around seven hundred, I guess. And first of all, I'm just gonna take this to have a quite rare look how it looks, and I'm just gonna take this side and you see it right here we don't actually need that that much that should be okay so yeah just start at one that doesn't really really matter okay Uh, so the duration change it to something around 200 or 250 I'm just gonna go with 250 and now actually another thing you will have to do is uh, change the maximum height that is just just something that I personally like about After Effects just can increase it as much as you need it and yeah, you see, this is not what we want though. This is just way too high. That is actually what is quite okay. So choose something around 3000 or something. So that is actually the first layer. Just go to S Control and D to duplicate it. And the second one is going by one frame to the right. You have to do this a few times until you have a great looking amazing thing something like this here this is actually the effect we are going to create so have a look at this this looks pretty much just exactly like the stripes and if we would now play it and pre-render it it would just look the same it's really really nice It's actually, yeah, it's actually the biggest problem is that we have something like this here, just it's just going straight up in the air. Yeah, it's, that's not what we want, but yeah, of it, yeah, <laughs> you can't really change a thing about this. So once you have this, you can also change the color. You have to do this with every single layer. So I'm. Um, actually not going to do that just going to edit the text and yeah you actually use aria regular for the artist no for the yeah for the artist something around this size and yep Also, I'm holding shift down to position it 
quite perfect to the audio layers. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, create a new text layer, which is the song title, and this is going to be Ariel Bold, I think. I just wrote it down. Yeah, Ariel Bold, song title. You can enlarge this because you will definitely want this a little bigger, just as you saw it in the actual Monster Cat template. So I would say that looks pretty good though. Just gonna pre render some frames just in order to see how it works out for me. Yes, as you see, that's just right what I want to have. You saw it. That's that's just kind of cool. So um, actually, the only thing we will have to do is we have to now synchronize the stars with the audio, which is not too hard to do, I guess. Just go to keyframe assistant and uh, convert audio into keyframes. What is going to which you are going to get out of this? is an audio amplitude which you will see in just a second i hope so no it actually didn't so let's try it one more time i think that like that also depends on the song how long it could take and there we go so this is the audio amplitude just uh, delete the right and left channel and go into the both channels thing just go down here um, yeah, actually you just need to hold down ALT and click on the stopwatch. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, no, I, yeah. So that is actually the problem. Just hold ALT and this is going to come up. So what you want to type in there is a linear value 20, 30, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. That's just automatically the speed of the song uh, compared to the speed of the stars, which we will do in just about a second. So leave this open and go all the way down to the stars, which I did here. So this is actually the speed thing. Just do the same thing as you did two seconds ago. Just hold down Alt. If I find the stars, actually. Yep, there we go. Um, and God damn it. What is that? Yeah, you will have to hold down Alt. Just take this circle and drag it all the way up to this. Yeah, to this one right here. And that's it. If you now render it out, if you would now render it out, you will definitely see that this is all synced. And there you go, guys. That is actually what you have to do. Now you just can go render it in the format that you want to render it. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, as I said, help me growing my channel by sharing, liking, subscribing. It would really, really help me out a lot. Thanks.